Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. First, a look at the headlines. Tourism department demolishes 30 stalls near Mangeshi Temple. Department claims stalls were illegal. Stall owners claim act politically motivated. Porvori police seized tiger skin, one arrested from Samantwadi, a deal of 4.5 lakhs for full tiger skin. Police say seizure may expose tiger skin racket in border area. Environmentalist Madhav Gadgil feels Forest Act not enforced in Goa effectively, says people should be aware and educate. Gadgil interacts with Goans on panel's Western Guard report. National Fish Workers Forum and Goinchar Apun Garanto Equot oppose grant of permits to foreign fishing vessels Equot to agitate across coastal states from 9th August. And Chetan Desai's investigation report to be out soon. Investigation committee awaiting evaluation of the new infrastructure at GCA Academy. Too early to give details of the report, says Chetan. Now the news in detail. Tourism department demolished around 30 stalls near Bangeshi Temple. Department claims that the stalls were illegal. The stall owners are annoyed with this act of the tourism department. They claim that the act is politically motivated. Tourism department demolished around 30 stalls on Thursday near Mangeshi Temple. These shops were earlier situated at the Devastan Committee's property. But stall owners claim that they were later shifted to this new premises. Some of the stall owners claim that this act is politically motivated. They have also blamed the Devastan Committee for double standard. <laughs> election <laughs> Deputy Director of Tourism Hanumant Parsekar was present at the demolition site. He said that the stalls were illegal. Government and illegal notice Notice did not have a card or that. The reason they came eighty star last to the Lily, May Manaji, eighty. Torani, Angi de Galati, eighty star icon Magasa Kale. And Torani and Jenny Kaduna Tame, I clear her boy, her boy, the government order the job. Hitler had a total. Atom, Makotan, the Athletis, the Tisaja Kale, Ramat and Davis to Magasar Gadla, Davisana. A reporter from Ponda, Vivek Prabhu. Porvari police seized a full tiger skin on Thursday. Police have arrested Sanjay Pawar from Samadwari for possessing tiger skin. The accused was waiting to sell the tiger skin for 4.5 lakh rupees near the Okokero circle at Porvari. Police have also seized the car of the accused person used for transportation of the tiger skin. 
Police say this seizure may expose a tiger skin racket in the border area. I saw uh, morning information in Lamza. This Sanjay Pawar, who is a Alto Gaditan, who is a junction of the Uba Sasa, Tiger Chiskin Cell Group. I have a red coat. I have a information about the DSP. I have discussed it. I have a TV form. I have a trap. 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 I have a I have a trap. I have a trap. I have a trap. I have First department for further action. Our video journalist from Parvari, Devendra Gaukar. Renowned environmentalist and expert Professor Madhav Gadgil feels that Forest Act has not been enforced in Goa effectively. He says that people should be aware and educated about the issues and they should find out solutions. Professor Gadgil Committee's report on Western Ghats has been presently placed for public suggestions and comments by the Ministry of Forest and Environment. The panel has designated the entire Western Ghats as an ecologically sensitive area. Uh, it has uh, not at all been implemented in the state of Goa. It is hardly implemented in the state of uh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. We have pointed out glaring uh, omissions in implementation of the act uh, throughout the Western Ghats area. Uh, I hope the people will become more and more aware. I hope the people will uh, generate a pressure. And <coughs> this is not restricted to India. Worldwide, the um, history has been that it is only the people's pressure which has uh, persuaded the governments to act. So as I said, all over the world, it is only the immediate uh, profits uh, which suffer because taking care of environment, not long-term economic growth. Professor Madhav Gargil panel has designated the entire Western Ghats with 142 talukas as an ecologically sensitive area in its report. The report is presently placed for public suggestions and comments by Ministry of Forest and Environment. Report would be open for the people for suggestions till July's first fortnight. Western Ghats runs in 145 talukas of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Western Ghat Ecology Expert Panel had visited all six states that falls under these Western Ghats. It had taken suggestions of locals, activists and industries over various issues in relation to Western Ghats. Coming for this presentation on the Western Ghat Ecology Expert Panel Report. Uh, as I mentioned, since now, since May 23rd, it is available to the public uh, for comments and uh, since within 45 days, by July 5th or 6th, whatever it comes to, the comments have to be sent in. I thought it would be a nice opportunity, since I was in Goa anyway, to also have a dialogue and uh, discuss give the background of the panel's work tar ami ta amcha awalat ek bhag ahe tacha govyacha ani govyatlya khanincha sandarbhat amchi amcha kay kay suchana ahet te mudda dilela ahe awalat aplyala pahala milelach so i would be grateful if uh, people of goa look at the report it is available on the website of uh, Ministry of Environment and Forest and uh, send back their comments as they deem appropriate. I have tried to give a background to what the whole uh, context is. The 327 pages report of the committee is available on the website of Ministry and Environment that is moef.nic.in. Amit.love at nic.in and sv.godavarti at nic.in A reporter from Panji Pratik Parab with video journalist Dinesh Karpe. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.